Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going to set up our settings fragment so that we are able to change our name and change our weight after we set them in the setup fragment. And we're also going to set up our statistics fragment. We are going to implement the total statistics, so the total time run, the total average speed, the total calories burned, and the total distance. We start by opening our settings fragment here, which is currently empty. In here, I will create a function actually a private function, apply changes to shared pref, which is just a function that will, well, write those changes that we entered in the text fields to our shared preferences. So it will override the name in the shared preferences and also the weight. And that function will return a Boolean, whether the fields were filled out correctly or not. So if we leave them empty, we of course don't want to save that change to shared preferences only if the user entered something. And in here we're going to have a val name text, which is equal to et name. Make sure to choose that et name from fragment settings XML because otherwise it will crash. If you, if you choose that from fragment setup XML, choose the first one from settings fragment and write.text.toString and the same for our weight text, which is equal to et weight dot text dot to string. And then in case our name text is empty or our weight text is empty, we simply want to return false here. And then after checking for that, we know that the user entered something correctly. So what we want to do is we want to save those changes in our shared preferences. And for that, we of course need our shared preferences. So let's actually create a latent var here, shared pref, which is of type shared preferences. And we're just going to add the add inject annotation. So our dagger hood library will inject those shared preferences here from our app module this year into our settings fragment. And we of course also need the annotation at Android entry point above our settings fragment because this is an Android component class. And if we want to inject something in that class, we always need that annotation. So what we do now is we use our shared preferences call that edit on that. And we want to put a string with our key name property, which we can import from our constants file. And we want to assign the value to that key name from our name text. And we also want to put a float, which is our weight for our key weight property. And here we pass our weight text dot to float. And then we simply call dot apply afterwards to apply those changes to shared preferences. And we're good to go. And since we also want to change our toolbar text when we change our name property, then we can do that here. So we have a val toolbar text and set that to let's go and enter our name text here. And then we're going to use require activity dot TV toolbar title. So our text view in our toolbar and set its text to toolbar text. And after that, we can simply return not false, we can return true, of course, because at that point, everything succeeded. The next function we need here is much lighter, just a function to load those changes again from shared preferences so we can display them in our settings fragment. So private function load fields from shared preferences or shared pref actually a little bit shorter. And in here, we're just going to load our name from our shared preferences dot get string pass our key name. And if that doesn't exist, which can't happen at that point here, but we have to pro provide a default value, we just provide an empty string. We do the same for our weight. Well, weight is equal to shared preferences dot get float key weight. And if that doesn't exist, we are going to set it to ADF. And afterwards, we can use our edit text. So et name from fragment settings dot set text and set it to name. And we're going to use our et weight from fragment settings dot set text and set it to weight dot to string, of course. And now we can override our on view created function here. And 
for our button apply changes, we're going to add an onclick listener. And in this onclick listener, we are going to have a Boolean variable, not if, we're going to have a val here, success. And we're going to set that to apply changes to shared pref. So we are going to apply those changes and return whatever happened. So if that returned false or true, if it returned true, so if success, then we're going to show a snack bar, snack bar make pass our view here and just tell the user that we saved his changes, not saved his changes, we just saved the changes. And we choose snack bar dot length long and call it show. And in the else block, so in case it didn't succeed, so the user left some fields blank, then we're going to show snack bar that just tells him, please fill out all the fields. And also choose snack bar dot length long and call it show. And that is everything for our settings fragment. Now we can do the second part of this video to implement the total statistics in our statistics view model. So inside of our view models package, we're going to open the statistics view model in which we are just going to have five live data, nothing else. First of all, a live data for total time run, which is equal to main repository dot get total time in millis. Then we're going to have a val total distance is equal to main repository dot get total distance val total calories burned is equal to main repository dot get total calories burned and for the average speed so val total average speed is equal to main repository dot get total average speed and we are also going to need um, our run sorted by date in the statistics fragment because later we want to implement our graph in that fragment and for that graph we want to display the runs in basically chronological order so we want to start with the first run go the next one is the second run and so on so that they are basically sorted and for that i'm going to write a val um, runs sorted by the date and set that to main repository dot get all runs sorted by date then we're going to go into our statistics fragment open that and in here create a private function um, subscribe to observers in which we are just going to do exactly that so we have our view model dot total time run let's start with that one observe on that pass our view lifecycle owner just as usual and an observer block in which we are going to need to check if our it is not equal to null because for total time run, we calculate the sum out of all of our database entries and basically return the result here. And in case our database is empty, then SQL doesn't know how to calculate that sum. And in that case, it will just return null here. That's why we need that null check. So in here, we are going to have our val total time run and set that to tracking utility dot get formatted stopwatch time and pass our it here and we don't want to display the milliseconds here in our statistics fragment. That is just too accurate and we don't need that accuracy. And afterwards, we're just going to choose our TV total time, I call it. Yes, that TV total time dot text dot not dot is equal to total time run. And then we're going to have our view model dot total distance dot observe view lifecycle owner and an observer block in here we check if it is not equal to null again if it is not we're going to have our val kilometers set that to it divided by a thousand because it is our distance in meters then we're going to have our val total distance because we want to cut off the unnecessary um, decimal parts again just as we did for our recycler view adapter. And in here we're going to have round, choose our kilometers, multiply it with 10F and divide it with 10F afterwards again. If you don't know what that means, then just go back to the video where I 
think either the recycler your adapter or the video where we save the one in the database i think where we save the one in the database there i explained what that actually means it's basically just to cut off some um, decimal parts that we only have one single decimal part here and then we can finally construct our string out of that so total distance string and set that to um, total distance and append kilometers afterwards then we can take our tv distance from our fragment statistics tv total distance dot text and set it to total distance string next we do the same for the average speed let's actually make a little space here view model dot total average speed dot observe pass our view lifecycle owner and an observer block check if it is not equal to null just as usual and in here we're going to have a val average speed set that to round it times 10 again times 10 f oops and divided by 10 f again so we also have only one decimal place and afterwards we create our string average speed string and set that to average speed and append kilometers per hour and then simply use our text view total average speed how did i call it um average speed just tv average speed from fragment statistics dot text and set it to average speed string and the last thing we need to observe here is our view model dot total calories burned dot observe view lifecycle owner and pass an observer block here check if it is not equal to null if it is not we're going to have our val calories well, let's call it total calories and set that to um, it and append calories afterwards and then simply choose our TV total calories from fragment statistics XML dot text is equal to total calories. And then we can call that function subscribe to observers in on view created just call subscribe to observers here and i think i also forgot to call uh, the function in our settings fragment yeah the load fields from shared preferences function let's just call that at the start of our on view created function here that we just load those fields and display the current values in those edit text fields and if we now run our app try out if everything is working take a look in our emulator here there we go let's take a look in our settings fragment first you can see my name and my weight is loaded and we can change that name and that weight to whatever. Let's say I eat a little bit too many tacos and we click on apply changes. Then it tells us save changes. You can see let's go Peter and also if we switch back to statistics fragment here you can also see the total statistics are working and back to settings fragment then there is our new weight and our new name so i hope this video was helpful for you if so please leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and just comment below what you think about this if you have any questions have a good day see you in the next video bye bye